There are quite a few weird places in the world we humans have failed to make sense of for a long time. Like the restricted Area 51 or the infamous Bermuda Triangle that has kept up scientists all night long. But these might be the least incredible when compared to some of the impossible finds we're about to show you today. You will definitely think some of these are fake, but let us assure you all of these exist. Before that though, make sure to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell for more new updates. Done that, let's get right into it. A Sea of Stars The Maldives is the perfect holiday destination because of its beautiful and scenic beaches, crystal blue waters and sunny skies. But one particular island here becomes the epitome of heavenly beauty during the summer months. It's not every day you get to see waves crashing along the shores that are fringed with neon blue sparkles. This gives the impression of a miraculous night sky in the ocean. That's why it's called the Sea of Stars. About this phenomenon, scientists are unable to pinpoint what's causing this beautiful light glow. All they know is summer brings the ideal conditions for this to occur. It's definitely not real stars in the sea. Most probably, it's a bioluminescent phytoplankton known as the Lingulodinium polyandrum. These plankton produce light with the help of a chemical called luciferin, which gets activated as a stress response to unanticipated movement in the water. This is actually the plankton's very own burglar alarm, and it tries to scare away any predators getting close. Well, on the other hand, the same defense mechanism is attracting tourists to them, ironically. Bizarre Blue Hole Belize has a coastline that mesmerizes just anyone. Well, that is until you come across this huge dark spot on the shore. It may seem like the eye of an enormous sea monster or an actual black hole in the bed, but also called Dean's Blue Hole, it's a nightmarish sinkhole that's filled with water. The lighter shores seem to be shallower and the hole does appear small, but it actually leads down to an underground cavern. The cave is around 330 feet in diameter and 663 feet deep. That's actually deep enough to accommodate a 60-story building inside it. This deep hole should scare away all the swimmers, but divers actually love to take up the challenge of diving here, and they tend to do it without any breathing equipment. No one has managed to hit the bottom yet, but one diver did manage to swim down 331 feet in this dark pit. That's extreme. According to scientists, this bottleneck came into being during the previous ice ages, when the sea level was nearly 400 feet lower than it is in modern times. The surrounding limestone was dissolved away by the groundwater, leading to the collapse of a part of the ceiling. And when the sea levels rose, the cavern got filled with water. Amazing Mount Roraima We're all aware that mountains are formed when two tectonic plates crash and buckle up the earth, but if that's the only theory we've got, how do we explain this perfectly flat plateau of Mount Roraima? Correctly titled the Tabletop Mountain, this rock is the highest point of the Pacaraima mountain chain of South America. The massive plateau is around 20 square miles in size and is more than 9,200 feet tall. Explorers and researchers find it quite difficult to scale the peak of this mountain. So how come Roraima is flat? The answer is that this mountain didn't rise from the ground. Researchers think that this mountain began to form when sand settled down and started to form a rock called sandstone at the bottom of the oceans. Scientists believe this was around 2 billion years ago. This means it took almost half of the Earth's life, according to their dating, for this to occur. After the level of the ocean dropped, erosion chiseled down the area surrounding the plateau, and this is how the ancient flat mountain is believed to have come into being. If that wasn't enough to excite you, let us tell you that this mountain is also home to thousands of animal and plant species that are exclusive to this area and aren't found anywhere else in the entire world. Monstrous Moville Cave Researcher Christian Lascu was working to find the ideal location for a thermal power station in the southeast of Romania. He came across an 800-foot-long cave while surveying the area. The weird thing about this cave was that it didn't link to the surface. An underground cave that scientists claim was formed around 5.5 million years ago lay utterly separated from the rest of the world. The air in the Mobile Cave is considerably different as it contains less than half the quantity of oxygen present in surface air. Instead of oxygen, the atmosphere of the cave is enriched with hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide. This means it's an extremely poisonous place for any creature that breathes. This in turn means life shouldn't technically exist here, but the reality is on the contrary. The explorers were amazed when they discovered 48 terrifying species that include spiders, scorpions, and centipedes. 34 of these species had never been seen elsewhere on the planet. 
How did life manage to thrive in this sealed, toxic cavern? Well, it actually depends on the strange, foamy mats coating the walls, water, and floors of the cavern. These mats are formed by bacteria that produce energy using a process known as chemosynthesis. The bacteria therefore thrive and provide nutrition to the species living in this place. Grand Prismatic Spring Rainbows are often seen adorning the sky, but sometimes they might just catch on the ground, too. For instance, in America's Yellowstone National Park, the Grand Prismatic Spring is a literal rainbow laid out in the earth. This natural hot spring is considered the third largest in the world, with a diameter of 370 meters. It's even larger than a football field. The vibrant hues that you see on the edges aren't from the rocks around it. Rather, they're caused by a variety of heat-loving bacteria. The heated water erupting from the spring center can easily achieve a temperature of 188 degrees Fahrenheit. While this temperature is incredibly high and can't support most life forms, these bacteria definitely can withstand the heat. The center of the spring is a clear blue, but on the edges the water is comparatively clearer. This forms concentric circles of water at different temperatures where different bacteria thrive. The prime range is 131 to 189 degrees Fahrenheit. The peculiar thing is that if the water in the center was even a few degrees hotter, these colors would never even begin to exist. Under Waterfall Like the Maldives, Mauritius is also a prime tourist location because of the breathtaking sights beaches, and the infamous seven-colored grains of sand. But one thing that only Mauritius has is the amazing underwater waterfall. Off the southwesternmost point of the island, this subaquatic cascade is seen flowing down deep into the ocean. This waterfall surely defies all logic. We have a hard time believing it despite seeing it with our own eyes. And we're right because it's obvious as it may seem in the photos, it's just an optical illusion created by nature. The sand from the shore is pulled by the currents into the ocean and this leaves behind the impression of movements resembling a waterfall if looked at from a right angle. Looks like nature has pulled an elaborate prank on us with this. Moving Mountains Most mountains tend to change their position annually, though only by a few millimeters. This happens as the tectonic plates ground together in slow motion. But unlike these mountains, in Tanzania there's a mountain range that's moving at an unbelievable speed of 55 feet per year. However, if you look at them, they don't look much like mountains. They're better off being called the Shifting Dunes. Located in the Ngorongoro Conservation of Tanzania, these 33-foot tall and 330-foot wide mounds shift uniquely. Their sand is comparatively darker than the surrounding landscape. This is because the sand is enriched with an enormous amount of strongly magnetized volcanic ash. The magnetic property is so strong that throwing the sand in the air will cause it to clump and join the dune again. Therefore, when the dune sand is dragged by strong winds, it tends to stick together, and that's probably how these dunes are moving so fast. One thing scientists had a hard time explaining is how this ash came to exist here in the first place. But when the drag marks were tracked, they were found to have originated from the now extinct Ngorongoro volcano that they believe had erupted around 2.5 million years ago. An Island of Ice Icebergs possess the tendency to grow enormously and become solid enough to take down massive liners, like the Titanic. But the iceberg that took down the Titanic was nowhere close to being as big as the one found by researchers in February 2021 who were studying the burnt ice shell in Antarctica. They witnessed a terrifying event that probably scarred them for life. An enormous crack appeared out of the blue and snaked through the 500-foot thick shelf of ice. This occurred around 10 years after scientists realized several cracks in the ice were growing rapidly. But instead of the ice breaking into smaller pieces, a gigantic 490-square-mile iceberg formed because of this crack. This ice chunk is actually bigger than the city of Los Angeles. Researchers are studying the island-sized iceberg quite closely. They've named it A74. Phenomenal Fingal's Cave This site in Scotland will make you doubt your visual abilities for a good few moments. Known as the Isle of Staffa, this island appears to be perched above a jungle of hexagonal-shaped stilts. It may look man-made, but in reality, it's a completely natural formation. The hexagonal structure is of volcanic origin and is basically columns of basalt. These were believed to have been created around 50 million years ago when the island was seemingly formed. A layer of smooth, well-mixed lava cooled evenly, and while that happened, each part of the lava shrank while pulling itself into evenly spaced centers. Hence, the fractured appearance of chunky, cooled lava. This phenomenon is called columnar jointing. 
The island also boasts a fascinating cavern called Fingal's Cave, which opens like a mouth lined with teeth made of hexagonal basalt. The cave came into being after a tilt in the tectonic pressure caused a crack to form in the basalt, which was eroded by the sea over the years to form this cave. There's a perfect path carved on the edge that seems man-made. Desert Boat Graveyard Northern Uzbekistan is home to a city called Monak, a city that shouldn't actually exist. Despite being in the middle of a desert, there are countless abandoned boats and ships present here. Rusted and unsalvageable, these ships lie scattered all over the area. How did the boats end up in this desert, though? Well, around a hundred years ago, Monak was a busy fishing port located at the shores of the salty Aral Sea. The Aral Sea is the fourth largest salt sea on the planet. Many other port towns were formed around this one, but a series of Soviet dams built around the 1960s ended up cutting off the two main water sources of the sea, the Amu Darya and the Sir Darya rivers. This irrigation initiative drastically reduced the water supply of the Aral, which shrunk to 25% of its original volume by the year 2000. Google Maps now only shows a faint silhouette of the now-vanished sea. This is what put 10,000 fishermen out of the job and had to abandon their boats and ships here. The Brutal Bolton Strait The Bolton Strait is considered one of the most terrifying waterways in the world. Located in Yorkshire, England, it may seem like an adorable little babbling brook that's barely a few feet deep, but in reality, the wide and super strong River Wharf is present about 30 feet upstream, and it barrels through this very brook. This huge amount of water travels vertically from the bottleneck down a tight natural shift present in the rocks. Because of erosion, this channel has become much deeper than it looks, so the strip may seem like a little stream on the surface. There's a whole forceful river flowing beneath it, and this fraudulent appearance has cost many lives. In fact, it's so dangerous that records state that every single person who's set foot in it has died. Ridiculous Rocks Only geologists tend to find rocks interesting, but this one mega rock has caught the attention of masses as it defies all the laws of nature and physics. Known as the al Nasla Rock Formation, this is located in al Tama, Saudi Arabia. Though it seems like this rock has been carved by an instrument straight down the middle, the slit is surprisingly completely natural. At the base, two small pedestals are separating the crazy boulders from the ground. It looks like a piece of art with the way these massive rocks rest on tiny pedestals, and that slit seems to have been carved out by an accurate laser. Geologists think that this split resulted from some sort of massive tectonic motion many thousands of years ago, shifting the ground underneath, causing the rock to split. Another theory states that this rock may have been part of an underground fault line. The internet conspiracy theorists, however, like to think that aliens with laser beams were what caused the rock to split. A Peculiar Pond Ponds are usually deep blue or green in color depending on the amount and the kind of vegetation present in them, but this one is colored quite differently as compared to the others. Located in Hokkaido, Japan, the blue pond is extremely rare, and it has a vibrant shade of blue that some say looks like it's made of Kool-Aid. This pond was artificially formed in the year 1988 after a dam was built in the Bay River. The reason behind forming this was to keep the volcanic mud flows from Mount Takachi from reaching the town nearby. But why is the color so beautiful and vibrant? According to scientists, it's because of the high concentrations of aluminium hydroxide in the water that's hard to dissolve, and thus remains suspended in the water, and also reflects sunlight in a particular way. So, depending on the weather, the water either appears clear blue or jade green. The sulfur in the water from the Reno volcano also bleaches the rocks at the bottom of this pond, leaving it looking like a blank canvas. The Everlasting Lightning Storm the Great Catatombo River located in Venezuela boasts a strange presence hanging in the air. As the river flows into the Maracaibo Lake, the air starts getting charged up with mysterious static electricity, which is followed by an enormous lightning storm. This storm is quite terrifying as it produces around 280 lightning strikes in a single hour. Now, this isn't your average thunderstorm because it's not a rare occurrence. This happens around 300 nights a year in this place. Over this river, raging lightning and thunder year-round is considered normal. Around 1.2 million lightning discharges occur over here annually. That's a lot. According to scientists, just 10 minutes of the Catatumbo lightning can easily power more than a million light bulbs. The locals have named this storm Relampago del Catatumbo, and they report that it's been around for as long as anyone can remember. Scientists have been trying to explain this unique phenomenon for decades, 
Their theories include uranium deposits, methane influence from nearby oil fields, and more. There was also gossip about the lightning being different as some of it was coloured, but these are just myths. It was in 2015 that scientists finally concluded that the mountains surrounding Lake Maracaibo tend to trap warm winds from the Caribbean Sea, and then when these winds come in contact with the cold air flowing down from the Andes, they're forced up. This condenses them into a series of everlasting thunderclouds. Well, that explains a lot, but doesn't make this phenomenon any less mind-blowing. The Oceans on Fire This happened on July 7, 2021, when a gas pipe running along the seabed ruptured in the Gulf of Mexico. This caused a stream of gas to rise to the water's surface. While the emergency responders reached the rupture site, they found something baffling. It wasn't just gas bubbling up. Instead, there was a huge and bright orange fire. The water was consumed by the flames. Unbelievable, right? How can water even catch fire? And if it can catch fire, then what are we supposed to use to put it out? Turns out the methane and other gases released from this ruptured pipeline are highly flammable, and a single spark would have been enough to let the leaking gas go on fire. So technically, the water wasn't on fire, but the gas was. This constant leak kept feeding the fire, which caused what looks like this terrifying hole to hell that you can see in the footage. A few hours later, the fire was extinguished with the help of nitrogen that deprived the fire of oxygen, in turn putting it out. The Eye of the Sahara Undoubtedly the largest and hottest desert in the entire world, the Sahara Desert covers an area of about 3.6 million square miles. However, the entire desert isn't made of parched earth and sand. In Mauritania, the Saharan sands have led to the formation of a supersized structure that looks like a giant eye when viewed aerially. Stretching around 25 miles in diameter, this eye is actually visible from space. But what is this eye doing in the middle of the Saharan desert? Well, it's not an actual eye, we can say that for sure. Scientists think that this weird formation is an old volcanic dome that formed around 100 million years ago. Slowly building pressure from an expanding magma pocket forced this point in the Earth's crust to bulge. But this didn't explode, and they think that after 100 million years of getting eroded by the sand, this eye came into being. This erosion did wear the bulge down, revealing the onion-like rock layer beneath. This layer looks like a set of concentric circles carved in the land. This may seem plausible, but it's still a theory, as some think this might be the impact site of a meteor. We sure would like to know what the cause was. That's all for today, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about these incredible places. Do tell us in the comments which one is your favourite. We'll be back soon with another smashing video. Stay tuned to our channel and have a great time till then. Goodbye.